I've been going over some really basic modding stuff because as soon as I drop some like hardcore stuff, people are like, whoa, slow down. I don't even know how to do that. So we're going to try something a little bit more advanced, working with some moving tools. And we're going to, I have a rollback truck that, uh, the Oshkosh that I've made it into a rollback so you can actually load vehicles on it. And I'm going to walk you through kind of how the coding in that mod works and uh, possibly provide you with a little download packet at the end of this video. Okay, so I have this Oshkosh, pardon me while I close my drawer, uh, and I have a rollback bed on it. So I have it under this deck. This deck is also, this one right here, this index path number three, is also my focal point for, the, for where it bends. So I need to remember zero greater than three. And then my next part is my ramps. So my ramps are actually gonna bend down like this. So I'm gonna have to remember this index path up here. So remember those two index paths, right? We'll bring up the XML. That's my little tool I have. So I'm inside the truck XML under cylindered. Under cylinders, it had moving tools and I added in a moving tool axis crane arm. And remember those two numbers I told you remember? Three, three, two, and then this zero, three. Um, that's where those are going to go right here. So axis crane arm, I'll kind of explain, uh, is easy control target. I haven't used that yet, so I honestly don't have a damn clue what that means. But it doesn't affect my mods if I don't change it so far. Somebody knows, let me know. Uh, that's why we're doing these videos, so we can all collaborate and figure this out together. Controls here. Now, this axis, you can change uh, the different things. So there's arm, arm two. I believe there's an arm three. And here in just a minute, we'll look at one of the in-game mods, and I'll show you uh, a bunch more options. So invert axis. So this will switch the axes. It means if it normally went left, it would go right. And if it normally went up, it would go down. Uh, this is how fast using the mouse speed factor. You can speed it up if you're using the mouse. Uh, the icon name, and this is what it'll display in the game in the little help menu box. You can change this to whatever you want. Uh, there's a bunch of them. I'll show you where to find that in a minute. Uh, your rotation is this is how fast it's going to go to, like if it's going to rotate when you're using like a, like a gamepad or an Xbox controller. And the same thing with acceleration, how fast does it take off? Uh, might mean a couple different things, but so far I've been able to adjust those and kind of speed up the process if I needed something to go a little faster. My rot max that I have set on this, I have it set to zero, right? So we're going to look at, that's the ramps right here. And my zero right there, they're all zero. So that's the max that I'm going to allow it to go that way. Uh, my rot minimum, the, the smallest amount I'm going to let it to go the other way, is 110 degrees. So I think that's, uh, yeah, it's that one. So we'll go negative one, one, zero. That's the lowest I want it to go. So it's, it's constricted to those two movements. Once it gets there, it'll just stop. And then I have another moving tool, and this is the main bed. Um, once again, it acts as crane arm, but this is two, so it's a different control. Um, and then I have it set for my rot max is zero, and I want it to rotate at a negative 25. So it's negative means it's like it's going to go backwards. So this would be positive 25. This is a negative 25. So it would go right to right up here, right around there. So this is the integer that we're changing right here. So it would go right to there. That's kind of how the moving tools works. And I will try to zip up uh, this information and do a little packet for you so you can download it. I uh, hope it helps. I'll show you some in-game stuff. So let's go to the Scorpion. Uh, it's, it's in your farming simulator data vehicle files. Okay, and we will go to the Scorpion King, open it up. Do not save this or edit this at all. It'll mess your game up. But we're going to look down, we're going to go down to moving tools and see what all it uses. Keep scrolling, this is big, you don't realize how much work has been put into these. Okay, so here's a moving tool. 
Here's some examples, axis crane arm two, axis crane arm three, and then here's some different, see there's crane translate, so it'll show something sliding as an icon instead of something rotating. Um, translation axis, this is the axis that it's gonna be traveling on. So translation is left to right, up or down. There's no rotation involved in that. So tr translate would be, uh, let's put this deck back to zero. This would be translating. And then the axis would be um, X is one, Y is two, Z is three. So this would be translating on the third axis. If that makes sense to you, okay. And how fast, here's the trans speed and, and acceleration, like that all has to do with the speed of it doing the action you want it to do. And same thing with rotational axis, it's just asking which one it is, X, Y, or Z, uh, one, two, or three. Uh, go down here some more, arm four, see this goes up for, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that, axis crane tool two, and you can use any of these. They're basically like empty buttons in your mod that you can just assign an action to with giving it a, I mean, if you're grabbing something, then look, there's a grab icon right there. And you can kind of scour the mods. I'm sure this is somewhere probably available inside the coding for us to find. And if you do find it, please let me know below uh, where you have a main list of them all because that would be really helpful. That's how Thanks that for watching, guys. everybody. I, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I want to welcome you to the channel, and I hope that I can help you learn how to mod somehow, some way. Don't forget to check out Patreon if you want to go be a beta tester and help me fix some things. Yeah.